Hello, everyone, and welcome to our live. This is Hong Yan with Xinhua News Agency. As we all know, tea is widely consumed and enjoyed by Chinese people and people all over the world. Among the various kinds of tea, the roasted oolong tea, or we call it the rock tea, is famous for its outstanding aromas and complex flavors. So today, I came to the Wuyi Mountain in East China's Fujian to discover the story of the rock tea. Here we are at a famous local tea estate called Fujian Jiaye, and here we are joined by the Alice Wei, who is in charge of our tea estate. Nice to meet you, Alice. And I have to say, what a wonderful place! And I just feel like I am uh, wandering through a nature reserve. Thank you. It's my pleasure to show you my estate. Yeah, thank you, Alice. And I was so astonished by the scenery here. Uh, could you please tell me how big is it? Here we are surrounded by 500,000 square meters of the tea mountains. Oh, 500,000. That's huge. And how many kinds of tea trees can we find here? There are more than 20 varieties of tea trees in this area. And only talking about the Wei Rock tea, uh, can we find out of them uh, kinds here? Yes. However, the main and the most popular types are Rou Gui, Sui Xian, Da Hong Pao, so on. Okay, let's see around. It's my pleasure. Look, this is Rou Gui. It's one of the most precious and famous Wei tea in recent years. Ah, I heard that the, like the Rou Gui is what we said in Chinese and in English it's called like the cinnamon. And Alice, how can we identify it? As we can see, it's often in shape and uh, with pickle edge. Ah, yeah, I see it. And I want to know like uh, how can I know uh, the leaves are ready for picking? The picking stand uh, is one bud with three fresh leaves like this. Ah, oh, three fresh leaves like mm. this. Oh, and Alice, I, mm. I have a question. Mm. Like, there are so many kinds of tea in China, but why the tea in Wuyi Mountain is so famous? Mm. Like, what makes it stand out? Tea trees grow on mountains and hills have better quality. With suitable temperature, humidity, rainfall, and light. The soil for tea trees is slightly acidic, that pH value is between 4.5 to 6. Besides, Wu Yishan has unique soil called fresh sandstone. We sometimes call the Wu tea as rock tea because of its unique rock flavor. And what are the advantages of tea planting in this farm? We apply the eco-farming with scientific support. We grow healthy organic teas with a focus on quality of quantity. For example, we may allow some pests or insects to enter our tea gardens instead of killing them with pesticides. We plant soybeans in summer and ripseed in winter. This can provide three major elements, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium for the tea tree. And Alice, mm -hmm. I know December is not the picking yeah. season. Mm -hmm. And when I come here, can I join in the picking process? Um, at the end of April, early in May. Ah, okay, I remember mm -hmm. and I will definitely come next year. Okay. Yeah. Well, these flowers are beautiful. Mm. What kind of it? Oh, it's in the season for the tea flowers. Ah, the tea flowers. I'm lucky. Yeah. yeah. See? Oh, I see the <laughs> fish there. Yeah. You really got an eco-friendly mm. environment here. Yes. yes. Oh, watch out. I see. Mm. Yeah, Alice, uh, I've seen the growing environment of the rock tea. So now I'm wondering, could you please show me how the rock tea leaves being processed? Of course, let's go to our workshop and you will find the answer there. Oh, that'll be interesting.
this is the place for tea production. And we got some machines and as you can see. Oh, I see those machines. Okay, for those who just enter our live, you're watching the Xinhua Live and I'm Hong Yan with Xinhua News Agency. Today I came to Wuyi Mountain to discover the story of Wuyi Rock Tea. And here we are at a Wuyi Rock Tea workshop and you will find how the tea leaves from this to this. So Alice, I'm wondering, how many steps are there in the rock tea processing? The making process include picking, weathering, shaking, fixation, rolling, and drying. Let me show you one by one. Okay. This is the process of with withering. Oh, withering. I heard that. Like, uh, after the picking, we put leaves uh, outside under the sun or in the rooms like this, right? Yes, the weather must be perfect. Um, not too hot, not rainy. Otherwise, the tea leaves will be damaged. Yeah, I see. So how long it should be? Usually it takes one hour. Oh, one hour. The length of time should be controlled accurately. It has to be perfect. A true master knows when it's right and when to stop. For example, the principle of making Wu tea is to spread the tea leaves evenly and thinly. We have to wait until leaves become soft and water evaporate from the surface of the leaves. So it's the withering part. I think the next is shaking, yes. right? Let's go to the shaking room. Let's go. And in this room, that is what the shaking process has been done. Ah, I, I see those shelves, like bamboo trees is in each layers. Ah, can I take one of it? <laughs> sure, ah, let me help you. you. <laughs> Mm. Wow, see, it's a huge basket. You may have a try. <laughs> yeah, I'll try. So shaking is like, like this. Like oh, this. no, no. Uh, <laughs> let I'm not doing let right. me introduce our master, He Shian. Uh, let hao. him show you the right way of shaking. Thank you. Please teach us how to do it. <laughs> this is a very important step. Cells of leaves are injured during the collision. This process is to make tea more tasty. Shaking the leaves differentiates woolen tea from all the other varieties. Yeah, I see it. So can I get it to try it again? Oh, so I think I got the tips, like, like making it run, right? Uh, well, Am I doing right, Alice? Uh, I think it's better. <laughs> you keep practicing. Practice make perfect. <laughs> Thank you for your appreciation. But I know it takes mm. time to be a master mm. and it's tiring. Yeah, it's not easy. That's why nowadays um, this process has been done by machines to make it easier and more accurate. Ah, oh, it makes sense. Thank you. Thank you. However, our masters still believe in the warm human touch. So the art of shaking leaves is still what we appreciate. Oh yes, I see. So this process bruises the tea leaves and prepares for the fermentation. Right. Once the shaking is finished, tea leaves will be placed on the trees evenly again and let them rest. After a while, the tea farmers will repeat the shaking until the leaves are oxidized enough to enter the next step. See? The green tea leaves become dark with a bruised reddish edge. Ah, oh, that's what we're going to do. So, the next step is fixation, and Master He will show us. And Alice, what is mm. the fixation? Fixation is to heat the tea leaves to deactivate the oxidative enzyme. Oh, Let's yeah. have a look. I see the frying pot, right? Mm. The Master He will do the work yes. in it. Okay. Asa, now we see the leaves. And Alice, why is this step important? It stops the activity of certain enzymes, arrests the fermentation process, and stabilizes the quality from shaking. It's important to stop the fermentation from going further once it's finished. 
Otherwise, the tea would smell or taste nothing. Some enzymes make the tea taste bitter. Frying can destroy them to give us a soothing and sweet taste. Find a perfect place between the two extremes isn't easy. However, a true mastership is all we need. Like I can try it? No, this is not good. I'm not a student. Oh, and I want to try it, but Master He told me like it's uh, the the temperature here is quite high. It's not suitable for me. Ah, can I ask this usually how much do you cook? Two hundred degrees. Two hundred degrees. And when the frying pot is working, it, the temperature can be more than two hundred Celsius degree. No. Okay, so Master He told us that the leaves are ready now, and uh, it had to be put into the rolling process. And here we can see how does the Master He shape the tea leaves during the rolling part. Rolling the leaves on the bamboo tray breaks down the cellular structure of the leaves, which causes the leaves to slowly release their oils, fragrances. Further rolling stops the tea from fermenting further. The double fry, double knead technique is a unique method in the production process of Wu rak tea. Refrying can make up for the lack of first frying. Reheating can enhance the aromas, flavors, and rhyme of rak tea and make them last longer. The double kneading makes the tea leaves tighter and more beautiful. The double fry, double knead technique forms Wu rak tea's unique dragonfly head, frog skin, three knots color characteristics. And Alice, yeah. what is the next step? The last step is drying, is to remove the extra water for better preservation. Let's have a look. This step is to means to stop the oxidation process. High heat is applied in a short period of time, which helps in removing moisture content, stabilizing chemical profile, and to maintain the shape of the leaves. It still takes time to finish. Mm -hmm. See? This is what we have after all the process. Ah, I see those dry leaves. So here in the workshop today, uh, we see the picking and withering and shaking, and then the fixation, rolling, and finally the drying. So now I'm wondering, uh, can I have a taste of sure, it? Sure, let's go to the tea house. Yeah, let's go. Be careful. Thank you. Yes, Alice, I was so amazed by the techniques we saw. Like, it shows the traditional Chinese tea making. That's so amazing. Alice going to the tea house. Mm, yes. Now I see those beautiful trees you planted. Yeah. Actually, I've spent 12 years in creating this garden. Oh, 12 years. And, mm -hmm. and the very first, why did you want to build this place? I want to create a place that the tea lovers come here, not only for a cup of tea, but they can be relaxed and enjoying both in this place. And enjoying uh, everything, every good thing that tea brings to them. Yeah, it's really the great way to uh, display our Chinese tea cultures to those tea lovers yeah. who come here. I see those no. villas. What are those villas for? These are hotel rooms for hotel. tourism. Ah. We got the restaurant, the hotel rooms, meeting rooms, and a memorial hall here. <laughs> oh, and how many rooms do you have? 36. 36. Yeah. Well, it's really great to have at the same time the farming, yeah. the production yes. area, and also the hotel. Yeah. yeah it's really a great place. Oh, so I think the tea house is in here because mm -hmm. I think we are parking yeah. now. Let's go to the tea house now. <laughs> Please.
Okay, for those who just join us, this is Xinhua Life, and I'm Hong Yan with Xinhua News Agency. Today, we went to Wuyi Mountain in East China's Fujian Province to discover the story of the Wuyi Rock Tea. And here we are at a traditional Chinese tea house with Alice. So, Alice, what are those? Oh, these are our products. As you can see, uh, this is Rou Gui, yeah. Sui Xian, and some other kinds of. The wrong tea. tea, yeah, yeah, that's amazing. And I, I think this is a really beautiful tea house. Here we can see like you have tables and tatamis, like mm. different kinds of styles. This tea room is designed with the Oriental style. Ah, oh. that's why I see those style like furniture. Yes. Here. Take a seat, please. I'm going to prepare you the tea. Thank you, Alice. I can't wait to taste them. As we can see, all the utensils are placed on the table one by one. Let me introduce them. This is terrain, fair cup, tea holder, teaspoon, tea cups, basin, and tea tower. Wow, and what can I try today? Today we are going to taste the Da Hong Pao. It is the most famous and um, also called the king of wee tea. Oh, I see the leaves, yeah. so how can I tell the difference? It is tight, curly in shape, oh. and dark brown in color. Wow, that's mm. nice. Let's enjoy. Thank you. Let's have a try. How do you feel about it? I feel a hot sip of sweet and earthy, smoky on my tongue, even after the swallowing. Yes, a top level wheat tea can make more than eight infusions eight. and still got a uh, strong aroma. Oh, after eight times. Hmm. Can you see? Mm -hmm. The tea soup color is between orange and brown. And I even can see a golden ring on the surface of the tea soup. Yeah, I see it as well. And it's totally clean. I think it's a standard for the good tea. Yes, Alice, you know, right now I'm sitting here drinking the tea. For me, it's more than enjoyment. It's just like feeling the art. You are right. The brewing method is intangible cultural heritage skill. Every tool is prepared and distributed properly. Throughout the process, we learn to be focused and calm. It also reflects our virtues of courtesy, attentiveness, and willingness to share. Yes, Alice, I was totally agree with you. And thank you so much for all of things today. Uh, the great tea, the great scenery, and also showing me the great techniques of our Chinese traditional tea making process. You're welcome. Thank you. So everybody, that's all for today's discovery. If you want to know more about Chinese tea culture, if you want to know more about China, please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.